Okay, looks like we have James on board here. Uh, so I think we're pretty much ready to go. Hey, Eric, James, can you hear me? You just give me back the screen. Uh, <laughs> Eowyn is messaging me on Facebook to say, you're good to go, guy. Uh, so we're just coming up on 9.10. We are at 75. Show my screen. Got it. Okay. Can you hear me? Awesome. Is everyone ready to jump into native ads in 2018? Okay, cool. Let's do it. So I can turn on my camera so you can see my face while I talk. Eric, and you able to hear me over there? As well. Um, okay, so all right, guys. Welcome to the webinar here uh, at iStack Training. We are super excited about 2018 and we are kicking it off uh, with a course that we've been working on for a couple months now. Uh, I met James Van Ellswick when I was uh, uh, when he came to speak in Berlin at Facebook Mastery Live, and he just sort of blew everyone away. He's got had an amazing stage presence. Ended up hanging out with the guy. He's pretty fun. Uh, so we decided to do some stuff together. So, so the main thing we're doing today is giving you guys some real value on this webinar. Uh, I'm really keen to know where where you guys stand with native ads, um, and uh, and basically, yeah, I want to know wh where you guys stand, what what your goals are with native ads, and what you want to accomplish in 2018. And, we can kind of help that. So there's a couple things. Um, we're going to teach you how to crush it with native ads. This is actually the second time that I've used this wrestler in a picture uh, on one of my webinars. I just was a big fan of this wrestler from the 90s, Kona Crush. And he's in, you know, he's just ready to crush it, all of us here. So we're going to be crushing it with Taboola, Outbrain, Rev Content, and others because native represents an amazing opportunity for us in 2018. Um, so the first thing I want to start out with, with native is it's like, you, you got to come sort of combat a couple of misconceptions when it comes to whether you can crush. I think a lot of people are sort of intimidated by intimidated by native, uh, for a few reasons. Um, and the first one is sort of like, uh, it's, it, this is like the affiliate Holy grail in a way, uh, that, uh, what you want as an affiliate is you want campaigns that can just run campaigns that don't go down from week to week campaigns. Uh, maybe where the offers go down, but specifically where the traffic sources might ban you or might uh, block your traffic or make your, your cost rise too high. And and so one of the biggest misconceptions is that you can't, as an affiliate or an e-commerce entrepreneur, have campaigns that are just sort of able to run profitably on autopilot uh, for over a year. So we're going to show you some stuff that shows when you're able to lock in uh, native ads that this sort of shatters that myth. You really can have these campaigns uh, you call them unicorn campaigns, maybe that just sort of run profitably more or less on autopilot for year or years. Uh, the other thing is, is native advertising is too hard. It's there's so much traffic. There's so many offers out there. Uh, it's, you know, it's too difficult to make work. Maybe you've tried it. You've tried it a little bit and you got bounced from it. I bet that's the case of a lot of people in the audience uh, where you've tried native advertising. You, you dipped your toes into the pool. You didn't, but you didn't have a really strong sense of exactly what to do or what the end game was or even some of the key strategies. So you found it too hard. We're gonna shatter that misconception and show you some key things that make getting into native advertising super easy. And then the big one is, you know, when you have to test all this traffic from winners, uh, one of the big misconceptions is that native advertising is too expensive. And, uh, you know, it's it, it can be, you know, there's a lot of traffic to test out there, but we're gonna show you some methods um, to test really, really smartly, to test the right things, and to get a, get a really good sense of, of how to win at Native uh, for uh, a much lower cost than you might have been used to, or that you might have experienced in the past. Uh, let's go on to the next one. So what this webinar is gonna give you more specifically is basically it's gonna show you a $870,000 campaign that was run on autopilot for over a year. Uh, this is a really, this is one of James's like strongest accounts. He's going to give you some really good insight into, into how he went about doing that and, and the possibility that exists for people to, to have one of those unicorn, low maintenance, high volume campaigns, very stable campaigns over, over the course of a year. Uh, imagine that on Facebook. Can you imagine just having a set it and forget it, uh, campaign like that on Facebook. We're not, we're not Facebook. We love Facebook advertising. Uh, and it is one of the more re rewarding platforms to use. Uh, but it's such an engaged platform. And it's one where you have to be hands on keyboard a lot of the time. So to be able to see some campaigns that reached almost a million dollars uh, with a much lower maintenance kind of approach is, uh, is pretty exciting. So uh, let's go back. 
Uh, and then let's see here. So uh, the other thing that we're going to show you is how to find all you need from ads to offers in under three minutes. So this kind of goes to the misconception that uh, native advertising is extremely hard. We're, we're here to show you that it's really, uh, it's not that hard. Uh, it is, it's basically the simple principles of affiliate media buying, but what you just really need to know where to look and what to look for in order to find uh, the ads that are working, the offers that are working, uh, that you can then sort of uh, replicate and, and innovate on in order to really drive incredible results. Uh, and then we're going to bust the myth about, uh, about, about uh, native ads being super expensive by using, you guessed it, this one simple trick. I don't know if you've ever seen an ad that said that before, but I've heard, I've heard they're out there. And we're going to show you this one simple trick that basically shows you why native ads aren't that expensive. So now if you stick around to the end, this is, this is the, 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 one of the big long-term plans that we're working on in, uh, at ISAC training. We're putting on e-commerce mastery live. Uh, the date's wrong there. It's actually July 20th, 2008. Uh, we have confirmed Ezra Firestone, one of the biggest guys in e-commerce, um, Muhammad Ali Agel, Nick Peroni. Uh, we just got Greta Van Reel, who created Skinny Me Tea and The Fifth Watch Company. She's going to be talking about building brands online, which is really cool. And then, of course, we have the staples, the Tan Brothers, who are one of the biggest high-volume uh, store creators sort of out there. And, and they gave us incredible value back in Bangkok. They're going to be joining us again. And, of course, Tim Bird, one of the, uh, the best media buyers in the world, basically, uh, who, who's going to be talking about the side of e-commerce. We're going to be covering e-commerce from a lot of different angles, and we're going to bring a lot of different kind of people together. Uh, and, and one of the coolest things about native is there's more and more people making native ads work for e-commerce. So if you're in the audience and you're thinking um, about you know wanting to tackle native in order to have maybe a, a more steady traffic source, uh, something that you can maybe rely on a little bit more week in, month out, year in, year out, uh, native could be a really great example for you. And we're going to be talking about that at e-commerce mastery life. So if you stick around to the end there, uh, people who purchase, uh, on this webinar, there are going to be three free e-commerce mastery live passes given away. It's going to be our best show ever. We will have easily over a hundred people there. The, the one people who came to the one in Bangkok know, uh, we we're able to create a really sort of magical environment, really great learning environment. Uh, and it's going to be a great event. So stick around to the end and we'll give away three passes to those. Those are valued. Right now, you can get them on the uh, Affiliate World Asia site for like $250, but very few people buy early. And by the end of it, the tickets will be worth over a thousand bucks. So depending on when you buy, you're giving yourself some serious cash on this. So who are we? I'm gonna step back for a second and I want James to give a little, uh, a little intro to himself because James is uh, a really interesting character and uh, I'm gonna throw over to him right now. Okay, fantastic. All right, so my name is James Van Elswick, some king of technical difficulties here, although I'll probably uh, try to push them off more on Eric, but it is what it is. Um, I have been in quite a few different businesses in my life. I used to be in a more nine to five profession doing the a call center uh, business for a living. It was a great living, uh, made a bunch of money, but I was very married to things. As far as married to the business, didn't have the freedom that I want or wanted, and um, I decided to pursue something new, went down the affiliate path, like kind of saw how much money was being made in this space and how much financial freedom I could have. Um, started out obviously just by myself, learning like everybody else. First real learning lesson, lost 65K on Yahoo Gemini, which stung. Um, have kind of kept pushing through and pushing through until now, you know, we spend over a million dollars a month on media. I have a team of media buyers um, that run very high volume on Google natives and Facebook. I spend majority of my time working with them, training them and training new people. Um, Eric and iStack training had asked me to do a course on natives because there hasn't really been a course on natives before. I'm a big learning guy and I really wanted to uh, be able to present the data and present the learning that I had taken in in a very edible, easy to consume format. Um, because I feel like uh, I, I've spent enough now to learn a little bit about natives and um, I, I wanted to give back and do it with a, a proper classroom style, even though it'll be digital, a proper you know, classroom style explanation, question and answer to make sure that um, everybody who wants to learn natives and make money on natives can because it's really not that hard if you know what you're doing. You just got to figure out 
uh, how to do what and when to do what. And um, I thought it'd be cool if I did a class to kind of show everybody how to do that. Take it away, Eric. Cool. All right. Uh, so I'm Eric Dick. Uh, you might know me. I uh, have been doing the iStack training thing for about a year. Uh, we built a seven-figure business in about a year, which has been an amazing, uh, amazing ride. We've created like 13 different courses. We put on two sold-out live events. Um, and so hopefully you guys have had a chance to check out some of those and know uh, sort of the level of quality that we like to, to rock with here. Uh, I'm really excited. We're building a team here in Victoria, British Columbia, sort of the, the iStack family from STM through to um, through to the conferences, affiliate world conferences, uh, and then through to my project, iStack Training. We sort of have heads now all here in Victoria, uh, and, and, and we're building a really, really cool team in Victoria. You may not know this, has this huge background of affiliate marketing. I started at a company, uh, and I was employee number like eight, basically, and I, I started the internal marketing team at a company called Neverblue, which came became global wide. Uh, and so I got my teeth cut in this industry on search engine marketing. That's how I started. And uh, basically in that job, I kind of covered all aspects of internet marketing. I ended up doing email. I did a lot of mobile. I did a lot of display. Um, I did a lot of Facebook as well at that time. And it just sort of gave me this incredible overview. And I built a career sort of um, building startups and, and working for other startups and um, just became like a massive sort of marketing, marketing generalist. And uh, it's sort of really led to this amazing opportunity um, to work with iStack Training and, and work with all the amazing people like James and, and, uh, uh, and basically put together some, some really cool stuff. So you know iStack Training, I'm Affiliate World uh, sort of, sort of um, family here. I've got my podcast, The Robust Marketer, which you should go find on YouTube if you haven't. We've got another whole season of awesome stuff coming out. Uh, we've got E-Commerce Mastery Live happening in the summer and working on a lot of other cool courses that I can't wait to tell you about. James, why don't you just tell us a little bit about Purple Leads, about the actual company that, that, that you built and what its purpose is and, and, and what your goals are for 2018 with that. Just a quick one. Yeah, sure. So Purple Leads, um, it's a couple different things or many different things really. So we do uh, agency work where people hire us to do performance-based marketing. We own our own offers, Facebook-friendly offers, native-friendly offers for a lot of different verticals. Um, so we have like a real close partnership with a lot of affiliates and publishers for, you know, Facebook friendly white hat stuff. And then we also run internally, you know, we've got a, a pretty good sized team in Israel. Um, we've got our own video people and copywriters, and data analysts. And we've really built this thing out now to be a pretty big high volume production, um, on our end. It's been a, a really a phenomenal growth year. Um, because of natives, which is really kind of what gave us the fuel to the fire in the beginning, as well as Facebook and everything else. So um, we're, we're trying to be a very strong presence in the affiliate space as a network, also as a lead generation company, and, and now also helping out on the education side. Nice. Okay, awesome. Well, then let's continue here. You've got a good overview of who we are uh, and a little bit about why we... Uh, think we know what we're talking about. Uh, so James, I think probably most people on this call know uh, what native advertising is. It's funny, on, uh, we, we did a post on Tim Bird's uh, group yesterday and I'm, he's got a very broad audience, a lot of like business owners as well as, as marketers. And, 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 and I imagine we all know what native ads are, are here, but I think it's important to maybe talk about them because it's not the most, uh, you know, when you think of ads, you might think of the ads on your phone uh, for, you know, in between, game interstitials or the face or Facebook ads, obviously, or search engine marketing, but native ads are the ads that are essentially built to look like content that live on the bottom of, of, of real internet content, basically. And so these ads are best, I think, kind of when they tell a story a little bit, uh, and James can get into that a little bit, but really they're, the, these are ads that are sort of meant to look like content. And because of that, they have really high engagement um, and really there's a, just a ton of potential for the kind of creative you can use uh with native james what would you say about native yeah natives is is a awesome way to advertise it fell into a new category um because it really hits people in a certain phase you know when people are on facebook they're kind of going through their their family time their fun time they're in their safe place um in natives they're usually looking for news or entertainment and they're in a pretty relaxed state 
and they're going to see something that's going to be, you know, getting their curiosity and you're going to basically take them off the highway. So if they were on their highway of just chilling, reading, we're going to take them off the highway. We're going to bring them over to the car dealership. Let's say we're trying to sell cars. We're going to give them some content to teach them about the cars and educate them about the cars and kind of warm them up so they want to make a purchase. And then we're going to finally transfer them to the offer page where we're either going to sell them a product or generate a lead. So it makes for a very high quality traffic and, and networks and lead buyers love it because the people are, are very interested and they've already been a little bit educated um, about the product. So it's really kind of uh, display, the, 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 the scale of display, but with the ability to kind of uh, push them over and teach them and help them convert better later on. So it's, a, it's just a high quality source that's also just a high volume source. You can spend massive amounts of day on this traffic source um, with really very few compliance or policy issues, almost never problems with banned accounts unless you're doing really bad things. But on the whole, it's, it's a lot easier and friendlier advertising uh, type to use. Um, and it's also a lot simpler than Facebook is because Facebook is, is dependent on an algorithm to make decisions. You're dependent on machine learning where natives are a little bit more simple, uh, a little bit more manual. So um, it can very often be a lot less frustrating than dealing with machine learning. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, you, you mentioned the ads being super plentiful. Uh, you know, take, take, for example, you know, a, a common affiliate uh, traffic source like Pops. And, and now there's these, uh, not only are there ad blockers for display ads and Facebook ads and things like that, but there's also these uh, you know, now new browsers are coming out and they're going to sort of, it's going to make it tougher for the pops people basically, because it's going to, it's going to take a lot of that inventory away. But, uh, but native, even ad blockers don't block native ads as far as I understand, unless that's changed in the last little while. Is that true, James? Not much. Um, you know, obviously it happens. Native blockers even block Facebook's pixel sometimes, but, um, you don't really see it, uh, you know, uh, pushing this because it's a uh, higher quality traffic. And also the, the websites that are hosting these ads, it's, you know, an assault on their revenue center. So it, it hasn't been much of an issue at all. No. Nice. So, you know, the opportunity here, we, James alluded to it um, just in his talk there, basically, but they are plentiful. They're truly global. These ads are all around the world. The, one of the really cool things uh, for this audience and for the, the current iStack audience is they, they work for both lead generation, uh, push, pushing CPA offers like Tracker or, or, or you know, Giddy Up offers or, or things like that, or obviously Purple Leads offers through, through lead generation and CPA. And they also work for e-commerce people. There's a big trend of people uh, who run e-commerce stores or run e-commerce brands who are constantly running into issues um, scaling and maintaining on Facebook. It's obviously that the, you, know, you have to master Facebook if you're building an e-commerce store, there's no doubt about it. Um, but it makes so much sense to have uh, native in your back pocket as an e-commerce entrepreneur as well. Uh, if you can really, if you can crack the native code, you know, as we're going to show, you can really, um, you can really scale and you can really have something that's, that's steady, which I know is something that a lot of uh, month to month sort of uh, entrepreneurs who are really worried about their bottom line and, and, and the changes that are coming on Facebook might, might mean for their business. As James, James mentioned, native ads don't rely on a mysterious algorithm. I believe the algorithm is a lot more like, uh, what is the EPC that you're creating for the publisher? What are the earnings per click that you're creating? What's the earnings per impression. So it's basically a simpler algorithm that's based more on, on sort of raw capitalism, which is something, uh, a language that I think most affiliate and most entrepreneurs speak. Uh, so it's definitely nicer than, you know, Facebook's algorithm is taking to in time, like taking into account, like how much you love your family. Like that's, that's hard for marketers to contend with, you know, because, uh, you know, and, and so, so it's nice to jump to a platform where you don't maybe have to worry about that. And realistically, the big thing about native ads is they can become the affiliate or the entrepreneur's dream. Uh, and what is that dream? Basically high volume, low effort, low volatility profit. That's sort of the dream that, uh, that, that marketers, advertisers, entrepreneurs are all looking for. Um, it's something that I'm looking for building courses this year. Basically my goal this year is to make more and work less. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but, uh, but I, I should be jumping on native because it really has that opportunity. Um, so I'm basically now, Jay, we're going to jump into James's presentation based on those sort of three misconceptions and, and his three uh, pieces. I, I call the, this is the meat of the presentation. James always brings the meat. Uh, so I'm going to let him talk a little bit. I think he talked a little bit about his history. 
He's going to talk a little bit more and then jump into his presentation. So he should take the screen, the mic, and the camera, and uh, I'll be back when he's when he's done. I'm I can't wait to hear this. All right, I think I've got I, I think I've got the control here. Um, all right, so you should be able to see my screen. Eric, if you can give me a confirmation that you can see my screen, that'd be outstanding. Can't yet. Dennis agrees with me. We can't yet see your screen. You got to hit that little rectangle on a stand. Rectangle on the stand. If you look at the three, there's the mic, the camera, and then the rectangle on the stand. Well, I don't have the rectangle on the stand. Can you pass it to me? Let's see what I can do here. James Van Elswick, panelist. We'll make the presenter. There we go. Show my screen. Show my screen. Are you able Boom. to? Can you see my screen? Yeah, we're all good. All right, perfect. All right, so I want to first kind of go over the is this is this possible thing? Um, as far as can you make long term stable money um, on natives? This is 871k um, on a campaign that's still running, um, and I'll kind of go over the flow of it. But this is something that you know we cracked hard early. We figured it out. We had very high ROI, high ROI, and then it got stable. But it's continued to make me money the whole time. Upkeep at this point is once a month. Um, obviously, at the beginning, there was a lot more time invested in that. But I'm just going to take you down real quick to, you know, obviously, uh, first, let's show us real stats and it's legit. Let's flip around here. Here's the money by day of the week. You know, so you can see, okay, this is what got spent by days of the week. And now let's look by day. Um, campaign started November 17, 2016. Um, this is one of my uh, Taboola accounts. I'll let you guys see some of the other stuff I run here. Um, been running debt, e-com, life insurance, auto insurance, final expense, flashlight, ICOs for all you crypto heads, PPI, refinance, all sorts of stuff. So when we are looking at the solar account, we take a look at kind of the process of what how this went down. It, it didn't go just amazing, but I hit a winner very quickly here. Um, started coming out of the gate spent uh 33 489 1100 1800 it started to get better we scaled it up here at 5600 we had to adjust some things buyer problems blah 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 and then it kind of kept rolling around the 2000 started to go up here a little bit in december and then it kind of just kept getting heavier and heavier and heavier until we were up let's see here we're like at 21k here in a day on spend so can money be made long term on natives yeah absolutely um if you look at the actual like individual campaigns here you can see that look this is one campaign 45k another campaign 44k another campaign 42k so these are things that we set up and have been running really for you know a long time now um and i think that this is to go and show like hey this it gives a lot of quality or it gives a little uh, understanding of how much and how long we could run on on natives and how much can be made you know in the beginning as i said it's a lot of work you got to figure out you got to crack it but once you set it up um it's amazing to kind of just make money on on autopilot um i want to go now and show you kind of the uh the easiness of what we're doing here because everybody's like thinks natives is so hard and so difficult and so expensive and everything else and um i'm going to show you how i spy can find an offer, can find ads, can find landing page, everything in, you know, I would say under three minutes. Um, and I go into this real deep on the course because this is the key. The research in the beginning is how you save the money so you don't waste on bad things. Um, we're gonna go here to AdBeat. This is my favorite tool in the game. It's amazing, it never goes down. It's a uh, very, um, comprehensive tool but we can use it very quickly for what we need here so i'm going to just filter here these are all the different advertisers that are advertising i'm going to filter by a, a native network these are mainly native networks in here 
Um, I'm going to go to Rev Content because this is somewhere I definitely like to run quite a bit. I'm going to take a look at the last 90 days because I want to see, you know, something that has a little history, but also how is it doing recently? Not something too outdated. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go through these ads and I'm starting to see some ads that look like they could be native. Uh, betterfinances.co, that could be something. This looks like some type of a, a native uh, lead gen ad. And uh, let's see. DYI World Station. You know, I'm seeing some here. Okay, here's a very, here's a nice one. Um, this, this offer, um, they're balling, obviously. And then with natives, when you see someone else making money, that's where you want to go. Ads have been running for 418 days, um, which speaks to how long you can run natives, uh, but really popped up in this area, obviously, like they've scaled up tremendously recently. So it's as easy for me to kind of find out what's going on here. This is the ad. I'm going to check out what their ad is. I'm going to use this button to download the ad. So I've already got the ad copy and all that taken care of. Um, now I'm going to go. I'm just going to now find out what this is. I'm going to open it up in new tab. See what this landing page is. Okay. I couldn't believe this lady Ooh, just hit her one hundred thousand dollars in the lot. So there, we found what that was. That's a uh, a lottery offer, which uh, or a lotto offer, which we have at Purple Leads. It works really well. People like to always be uh, gambling, paying lotto, etc. This one here, it's a it's a vision. So it's some type of offer to help you know help vision. Um, let's open this one up in a new link. I couldn't believe this uh, lady to, uh, just hit for 100. So it's like there, I'm going to go. I'm going to find my uh, offers, make it kind of uh, simple there. They're running direct to a VSL. They're running on Rev content. So I know that now I've got the image, I've got the headline, and I've got the, the network that they're going to run on. So now, like, I've already got three pieces of what I need in pretty much under, under a minute. Um, I can go now and dig deeper and find other uh, similar offers, look around and see if things are better performing. But I mean, from here, I, I now know all that I need to know, except where, where do I find this offer? And it's easy enough to find an offer either on Offer Vault or some different networks that you know. Um, and now it's just a matter of, okay, well, how are we going to find out where on Natives to run it? Where are we going to uh, place these advertisements because we know that someone's making money here, which is the most important thing. Uh, we can see that they're running on mobile and that's where they're making their money. So now we know, okay, we have what we need, except we need to know where on Rev content uh, that we want to uh, run these ads. And this this should bring me to something that I like quite a bit about Rev content. Um, it is a tip and a tool that I use uh, a bunch. I learned it, uh, I would say, a year and a half ago from Marilyn Barris. Um, and it's how to find good working widgets on uh, Rev content. And this is just a game changer tip and something that will allow you to, um, to find widgets and to run natives a little bit less expensive. Um, you know, I think everyone's always concerned about how much does it cost to run natives. Um, well, it costs a lot less if you already know what to do and what's working. So this here is PC World. I know that this is a new site that uh, Rev Content advertises on. This here is the six Google Translate tips. Just, you know, basically they just want to have you click on things so that you end up taking a look at advertisements. If we click on that, we will go here to Google Translate trips and tips and just lots of advertisements. You know, so here we've got some AdWords or AdSense advertisements, um, more banner stuff, more banner stuff. And as we scroll down, we are going to hit native ads. This is what we are working with here. So here we got Rev content. This is native ads. You can already kind of see by the content, or at least I can, and you'll learn how to, um, kind of what the different things that they're touching on here. So you got something about health with diabetes. You got a hair ad here, hair ad here. 
Alzheimer's, lots of different health things. Um, now we can go and kind of confirm, okay, is this a, a native offer? So I'll open this up and okay. Now this is somebody's landing page. So I'm sorry, whoever I outed, it's a pretty nice little pop landing page here, but now we have a landing page and now let's click on this and let's see what they're advertising. Yes, hair growth. Hi, my name is David McKenna. And in the next- Okay. So now we have got the advertisement and the ad copy. We have got the landing page and we also have found what offer they're running. The only thing we're missing here now is how do we target the same way as where we found this? How are we gonna target PC world in Rev Content? Rev Content doesn't usually let you target by these names. So we will go and we will, and I love this trick, we're going to inspect the ad. And then we are going to uh, type in RC-W. If you take a look at my cursor right here, RC-W-28983, this is the widget ID for this placement. So now I know that someone is running this ad because they're, they're running it here because they're making money. So I know that they're making money. I know they're running this ad. I now have their ad copy. I have their image. I have their landing page. I have their offer and I have their placement. There is nothing else that they have now that you don't have. You have the exact same elements as them. And this is really the key to natives is if you spend the time spying and if you spend the time looking for uh, what other people are doing and then you improve upon it, uh, you can do this very cheaply. You know, you can now go and take this ad and this headline and throw 30 bucks, 50 bucks on it and get it start running. And you may have a potential winner off of uh, day one of spying in this format. So native ads, expensive, don't have to be. Native ads, difficult? No, not difficult. Um, and native ads possible to make millions of bucks? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, it's what I've been doing, um, you know, for like the last year and a half, two years is just kind of balling out on natives. And um, so I, I just have to say, like, I'm a full believer on all of this stuff. And uh, I'm excited to kind of uh, show you guys uh, some of these things as we move forward. If you can just imagine with me a little bit what a year of you know like killing native ads. So say you say you get a you, you hit a, you hit a sweet campaign like James, you're making 800k of low uh, you know low effort profit. That's just on one of the accounts. What would that look like? That would be a couple hundred grand in your pocket just from setting up some ads, keeping them running. Uh, what if you extended a new traffic source basically, uh, and you were able to. Uh, you know, make incrementally hundreds of K more sales as an e-commerce entrepreneur, you were able to basically not put all your energies into Facebook. You're able to diversify your focus a little bit so that if, if bad news happens on Facebook, you've got another traffic source ready to roll. What if you could profitably spend, you know, like one K a day on native ads with a 30% margin, that's, you know, 300 bucks a day. What about 5k a day on native ads, 10k James has spent as much as 20k a day or more on the reg basically with native ads and if you think about what your life would be like as an affiliate as an entrepreneur if you had this low maintenance high volume source uh it could be pretty sweet uh, and that's what we're here to talk to you about so what if you had a guide what if you had james basically there giving you the exact walkthrough of how to do this the high level strategy the step-by-step -step methods uh you know that make native ads work what if you weren't just sort of uh in the dark on these things I'll say this, James uh, sends us when he, uh, you may have seen an email about this, but when James first uh, delivered a promo video for us, he started it by saying, you ever seen a monkey trying to fuck a football, which we couldn't really put on YouTube or Facebook necessarily, but I think his point was sound, which is, you know, when, you, when you're trying to get into a new enterprise uh, like Native, and if you don't really know what you're doing, it may look easy, it might look like something that you can get your hands on, uh, but if you don't really know you know what's going on there you, you might you might make a mess it might be ugly just like that monkey so you uh, apologize for calling you monkeys but don't be that monkey 
uh, you know, you, you want to find a good guy to, to, to basically take you through this. You could be making 30 to 60 K a month. If you catch one of these good trends, that's what affiliate success might look like on native uh, e-commerce success. You could be making 25 to 50 K to hundred K incremental more sales on top of what you're already doing. If you're able to, uh, basically master native ads. So funny enough, wouldn't you know it? Uh, we have something that we're offering here. You may have seen in the sidebar the whole time, which is the Native Ads Masterclass. You've probably seen us on your feed uh, talking about this product. It's something we're super excited about. Uh, James has basically put all of his learnings over the past several years from Native Ads, from running these things, into the ultimate training for Native Ads, and it's available right now for $500 off. Uh, we've been sort of basically, as the class fills up, we have about 10 spots left in the class. Um, and as it's been filling up, we have been uh, raising the price basically as to, to make it more and more scarce. You know, the, when you're dealing with uh, this kind of traffic source and the potential of it so high, the value of the information in this course is also so high. James has been to the promised land with native ads and he's giving you sort of the exact methods, the exact strategies that allowed him to get there. So, so this is a really, really valuable course. Uh, and so right now it's available for $500 off. Uh, and so, so, so with this course, you're going to get six weeks of step-by-step -step instructions, high-level strategy, all these things from James Van Ellsberg. So that's worth the three thousand dollars that the you know the course sells for, basically. That's worth it right there. But on top of that, you're going to get eight weeks of live chat support, which is basically in a private channel where James is going to be there. He's going to have his uh, one of his top buyers there helping out. And those are for questions for like what, when you're basically trying to go through, when you're trying to get started here. There's going to be roadblocks. And those are things that you can uh, access via iStack chat. And like basically that's an invaluable service. Anyone who's taken one of our courses knows that the chat is basically where a ton of the value lies. And so let's put a $3,000 value on that. So already you're at $6,000 for the total value of this course. Uh, and then on top of that bonus number one, this one's really cool. You know, we're, we're connected with obviously with Adplexity, with Funnel Flux and with Optimizer. Now, if you're not familiar with native, these are platforms that you're going to want to familiarize yourself with. So Funnel Flux is a tracker, but Funnel Flux is specifically a tracker that's really good for building visual funnels, which is something that's super key when you're dealing with different flows and landing pages and funnels on native advertising. Funnel Flux is the best one out there when it comes to being able to line up uh, your funnels and see exactly how everything's working. You get 10% off for life on that, on, on that product, which, which is great. Uh, and again, if you're if you're committed to being a, a, a native buyer, an affiliate media buyer, that could add up to thousands over the course of, of your lifetime. Adplexity, you get 20% off, which is significant. It's going to be over like 50 bucks a month, basically. Uh, Adplexity is a um, an, an ad intelligence tool, so it's just a spy tool, and it is one of the best spy tools out there. Uh, you get 15 days free, $20, 20 percent off for life, and then the same thing is with Optimizer. When you reach a uh, when you get to the point of like creating campaigns on autopilot, you're going to want to be able to put in some automatic rules that can lower your bid and can stop loss, stop campaigns in case you're, uh, in case you're going to lose some money. You can set, set automatic rules in place. And again, if you're going to, if you're going to put campaigns on autopilot, the optimizer is an amazing tool to have and you'll get 20% off for life. So easily these things add up to sort of thousands in, uh, in lifetime value. So basically you've got the six weeks of, of James's amazing course. You've got the eight weeks of live support on chat. You've got the lifetime discounts on all, all these things. It's going to be easily a thousand dollars for those things. If you're, especially if you're committed to being an affiliate media buyer. So that puts the, the value of all this at around $6,000, uh, which is significant. Now on top of this, you know, when we first started out, we worked with Tom Claflin, who's one of my favorite people. And he, uh, basically created a case study for us. We paid him to create a case study. We paid for the ad spend. We paid for his videos basically. And he created a four part series, literally just start to finish point and click. Here's how you set up on rev content. Here's how you take a basic BSL, run it on rev content. And he worked about an hour a day for a couple weeks uh, and ended up breaking even uh, and then going on to profit much more on, on that particular campaign. So, so it's a really good complementary case study to what James uh, has done with his sort of higher level brain dump strategy. Uh, so, so Tom's case study, you know, it, we sell it for $200, which is probably criminally low considering uh, all the value he puts in there, the, the step by step, the, the, you know, the, the fact that you just get to see a person start to finish, to take a campaign to break even, uh, is, is worth a lot more than that, but, but we sell it for $200. So we'll put it as a $200 value there. So you're at $6,200 in value with the six weeks, the eight weeks of chat.
the lifetime discounts on the amazing tools in the industry, and then Tom's case study. So I wanted to take a second just to talk about James. You guys, I'm probably a lot of James fans on this uh, on this webinar because he's been a big part of our of our marketing, a big part of our team in uh, in 2017. He factors to be in 2018 as well. Uh, people just have a lot of good things to say about James. They they basically they love his style. He gives information just raw uh, and in 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 clever ways, in ways that really like stick in people's minds. He's really good with metaphors uh, that that are you know that you're not going to forget anytime soon, like the uh, the monkey fucking the football. Uh, James, how many people are hitting you up sort of on a daily basis, like giving you feedback on on what you're doing? What has your life sort of become in terms of the feedback from people since you started sort of talking and, and getting into the public speaking sphere? Yeah, it's gotten intense, man. Um, I bet I get hit up by like 10 to 15 people a day at this point. Um, some on just, hey, thank you so much for showing me this stuff. I got a quick question. And some that are like, hey, thank you for showing me this. I have a huge question involving all of my campaigns that's been going on for six months and there's all this different stuff. Um, but like, I'm a, I'm a very transparent uh, person. I feel like there's enough information for all of us out there. So I just tell everybody the truth, the, the accurate stuff that I'm doing currently. Um, and I would say a lot of the time people come back and say, Hey, like that worked or that really helped me. And if it didn't work for them, I always come back and be like, okay, let's try this. So it's usually somebody hits me up with problems and then I ask them a lot of questions like a doctor trying to make a diagnosis and then I make some suggestions and like it's the time is starting to add up. I was probably up to an hour and a half or two hours a day just answering uh, Facebook messages, you know, but I, but I actually enjoy it, you know, because I had to learn all this stuff myself. So it, it's kind of fun to give back. Nice. Uh, and the feedback has just been uh, quite good. Early feedback on the course has been really good as well. Uh, so basically... Uh, I realized I made a math error. Thanks, uh, thanks, Robert. I <laughs> this is good thing. This is not a math class because it's because three plus three plus one plus two hundred dollars is seven thousand two hundred, not six thousand two hundred. Uh, so, but this leads us. You know, James is is this incredibly personable guy, helping people out where he can. I know twenty uh, eighteen is a super busy year for him. And uh, he's, I know his partners are always uh, wondering, you know, where his time is best spent. So basically what he's decided to do is really up the ante for the first hundred people that take this course. Uh, you know, once this webinar is over, there's a couple hours that are going to go on where you have a chance to make this purchase. Uh, and if you do, you'll be part of the inaugural run, the first hundred people. Uh, and you'll get six live streams with James where he's going to basically, we're going to set it up. You're going to be able to just dial in. Ask him any questions you have. May potentially show him some creatives. But you know these these big questions that he has people uh, you know messaging him privately that he's sometimes able to answer. Sometimes he's not. He's basically going to be put on the hot seat in a live classroom session. He's sweating it a little bit because he doesn't know exactly what's going to happen there. But we think this is a super good evolution for the future of iStack training. Like we always want to bring in people who are willing to do these kind of live stream courses because that's really where the rubber meets the road. Like you're going to take this course and you're going to get inspired. You're going to know how to do things. But when you, you know, hit a roadblock or when things aren't working, maybe as you expected, you're going to want, you're going to have some questions as to why that is. You're going to be able to talk to James in person uh, for these six live sessions. He's going to have a lot of fun every Friday uh, starting in February and beyond uh, answering these questions. And, and I don't know, James, have you ever consulted like, just going into an office or consulted with people individually have you ever charged for that what would you say an hour of your time is worth who knows these might be longer than an hour we'll see it see uh, Listen, what time I, of the day is for james with you. Have offered and i've said no to you know but even for 3k <laughs> an hour i'm not gonna go in and consult <laughs> like my time is yeah. really worth a lot of money like i hate to be that way but like you know i spend i spend a lot of money on like assistance and like support staff and everything else just to make more time for myself because i know that the roi on my time is kind of high um, but like yeah. to go into this classroom thing, like it's real important here. It's like, look, I, I love teaching this stuff, man. I, I love being a media buyer. I love living media buying. And I also am someone who takes a lot of these courses and downloads a lot of them, everything else. So basically I wanted to try to create something that was, um, you know, organic and school-like in the sense where there's a curriculum, there's a stuff that you can learn there, but there's just a lot that can be learned in the classroom. It, environment and there's also a lot that can be learned like after class and um if anybody knows me I, I really like to do things well and accomplish things so it's like um 
I really uh, am, am committed to making these live sessions like really valuable so everybody can get the answers, uh, all their questions answered, as opposed to me just talking about something in a video, blah, blah, blah. And then maybe you find out what you want and maybe you don't. It's just better if I bring out the curriculum and then you guys can ask me the questions that you want based on where you are with the learning or where you are with the material, where you are with your career. Um, you know, a, a closed mouth doesn't get fed. And I think by having these, these open sessions, people get a chance to ask questions. And it's like, you know, if you didn't find out what you wanted to learn from this native course, it's just because you didn't ask and then it's on you. But we want to make sure to be here. I'm also bringing on like two of my top uh, members of my team, both people that spend over six figures a month, you know, that they, they control over six figures a month budgets um, themselves just so that they can help also because they're also in the guts of it and they're very smart. So I'm putting, you know, everything out there for these live classroom sessions to give you guys the most value. That's, yeah, that's super awesome. And it's just a chance to build rapport too, right? Like you're going to see all these people at trade shows and things like that. So it's, it, it gives us a really good opportunity to, you know, put the voice to, to, to the student and, and build rapport with these people because we're going to be doing yeah you know, Barcelona we're going to do some social events for for uh, alumni as well, <laughs> which is something I haven't mentioned here. But so we're basically putting a three thousand dollar value on six live streams, which is cheap as hell for James Van Elzer. He wouldn't get out of bed for five hundred dollars an hour. Uh, I know because I've asked him, and that that just wouldn't happen. But just to be generous, let's check my math here. I think I got it right. Yep, ten thousand two hundred dollars. Uh, when you factor in three thousand dollars for for JVE, so this, you know, and this would be worth it. Like if you were, if you were, you know, creating that, that would be a spend in one day. That would be ad spend in one day once you master this, and that would be worth it. You, you know, we could be charging ten thousand dollars. And James considered it when we were looking at the price for this course. He was pushing me higher and higher and higher on on what we could potentially charge for this because he knows how valuable this learning is. He knows, uh, you know, what it looks like when you're at scale. Uh, you know, with these tactics and, and, and sort of how much profit that can create, uh, you know, this, whether you're in e-commerce, whether you're an affiliate, this could easily net you millions over the course of, career, of, of your career. So basically, you know, 10200 would not be a ridiculous price for this course, but I can tell you that's not what we're charging. Basically, if you go now, uh, I'm going to put the link in the chat here. If you go to this opt-in page, basically, right there. Um, you can get the course for like, this will be the last time that the cheapest that we'll ever sell it basically, uh, except for the early birds who maybe, uh, who, who maybe got in earlier selling it for 1997. This will last for the next three hours or so. You'll be able to get, uh, the two, four, nine, seven cost less $500 and, uh, 2000 bucks for this knowledge is just absolutely insane. Uh, you know, after today, it's going to go up to its uh, its price of two thousand nine hundred ninety seven dollars. That's where it's going to kind of live on our platform. Uh, we're going to be closing down the course uh, while we run uh, this inaugural run of just a hundred people. So again, there's only about ten seats remaining, um, and, and and you know we will reopen the course at some point, but it'll be reopened at that top price point. Um, you know, and uh, so basically, if you want to get in, now is the time. You get the benefit of those six live streams with James. Uh, you get it for the lowest possible price, uh, and uh, it's it's just a really good opportunity to take us up on right now. So if you're thinking about it, uh, don't delay. Make the purchase. Join us. Uh, and if you do, uh, the first three people who do, starting now, basically, uh, will be getting three or be getting a free pass to e-commerce mastery live, uh, which is going to be, as I mentioned, just an unbelievable event uh for for everyone so definitely this link is not giving us 500 dollar is giving us a 500 hundred dollar discount only that is the discount that you get uh so let us if there are any issues here we can be you can reach us at uh, team at istacktraining.com you can just send us a quick note we will be on intercom to answer any questions here of uh, anyone who's trying to make a purchase and maybe has any issues you can go to courses.istacktraining.com where we have our little intercom widget, which you can uh, talk to us through there. We're standing by to answer questions. This deal basically ends in three hours. Uh, you go to go.isactraining.com uh, slash opt-in dash, uh, or email dash opt-in, 
uh, and you get your $500 off for this course. We are sort of out of time here, but I just wanted to, if there were any questions about the course, we, you know, this isn't an opportunity to, to have James dissect your campaign. That's got to happen in uh, in the course where he's willing to do that on the on the Friday live classroom sessions. But if there are other questions, if anyone had about the course, we, there's a lot of uh, comments here. So you might have to ask them again. I, I don't know if I can go find them uh, right now, but if you can ask your questions in here, we will be on the line for another like 10 minutes or so, just kind of hanging out. So if you've got questions, shoot them over to us uh, and we will do just that. The one thing that, uh, that I wanted to say too, I alluded to this, but like in Barcelona, I'm sure a lot of you guys will be coming to Barcelona, whether you buy this course, get a free ticket in the next three hours or not. Um, but we will uh, be having an event for alumni, uh, which will be a really fun thing for all, only people that sort of have taken iStack training courses, we built up, uh, you know, an amazing audience. We have a, you know, a couple thousand people who who bought our our trainings, and we want to really try to keep, kind of build that community. So we're going to be doing uh, at least a, a drink session, um, basically. Let's see. Can I get Ezra's Pinterest course along with this? Uh, right now, that's not part of the the free course offering. But if you buy the course, we can do a 35% off that. And Ezra's course is, uh, we don't, we didn't break Ezra's course down into his individual modules. Um, his Pinterest one is really cool though. Um, and if you buy his module, if you message Anthony, if you message me at eric at istacktraining.com, we'll give you a promo code for 35% off if you also buy uh, the native course. Uh, that will be, so will it still be uh, for sale after the first hundred people, just curious. We're gonna close it down. Uh, we'll reopen it at some point once we get a, once you know we go through this first run and uh, and get uh, you know get get some feedback on it and basically uh, yeah. So it will be open, but not for a while. So if you want it now, would be the time to get it. We've got some other people talking about my yeah. Eric, you know, what else is it? Skills, which point? is great. But another important point here is is just that. Um, I'm not going to do this live class part again. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to do it this first time yeah. to make sure to answer questions about that, the curriculum. But you know, I make my living buying media, not teaching media. So I, I got to make money too. So I will not have the time in the future. You know, all, all of the teaching and the recordings and stuff, obviously will be, will be recorded and available, but I'm not going to be live any other time except this first one, just to be upfront. So I, I would do it now because the, the chance to ask questions about things is probably the most valuable thing. So I think this is probably uh, a, a fairly important um, push when it's as far as getting involved in the, the course this time, as opposed to waiting till later because it's not going to have the same uh, kind of feel and live live access. Yeah, um, we will record. We'll record the question and answer sessions, so you'll get these canned questions and answers, and they're going to be a lot of valid. Uh, great question and answers here, but but that ability to ask your specific question is sort of the really your really valuable question. part. Like you'll hear, yeah, yeah. your question specifically. Um, so I'm just taking a look at the funnel here, and uh, I may have had another slight math issue. So let me just take it. People are saying that the price is coming up. Um, uh, so let me just take a look here. Yeah, anyone having issues with buying, we'll we'll get it sorted out. If you're, uh, if you're keen on this, we will we will find a way to get you on board. Um, go to the checkout page here. Let's check it out. Any other questions here? Can they do? Blah, 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 blah. Where can we find a recording of the session? We'll put a recording. I think if you've registered for this, you'll just be automatically mailed uh, a recording, and uh, so we can take care of you there. Um, hey James, how do I know if my e-commerce offers and products will uh, work? on natives what are, what are what's the rule of thumb for like what what's going to work on natives you got i know that's not a simple question really yeah it, I mean, it's simple but it's it's got to be something that i think it's simple but difficult it's since you're not going to have the targeting available to you that you do on facebook it can't be something niche obvious obviously if it's something that would apply to let's say 60 percent of a marketplace 50 percent even to a marketplace then it could be effective and usually things that are very low price don't work. Um, I find that for e-commerce, $25 and up is the sweet spot. Maybe $50 with a couple of good upsells, kind of back in the tracker range. They obviously dominated it, um, but it just can't be niche. You could potentially advertise just on niche sites. If it was a, something for your dog, 
you're selling dog collars, you could go out and find websites and publications that are focused on dog collars. It could work, but I only try to go for broad, big budget stuff. I'm looking for stuff that I can run like on Weather Channel or CNN, <laughs> NBC.com, stuff like this. So if your product has a mass appeal, then it, it, it can work on Natives Amazing. Cool. How long is the course per day? So this is, uh, it, it's an interesting one. So it, it's, it's basically we've decided not to, you, when you get the course, you get access to the full course. We're not dripping it out over time. We wanted people to be able to attack this uh, sort of at their own pace. Uh, and and I, I think it's it's basically, uh, yeah, it's enough. It's like the information is, we, we're not judging this course super by its length. James gets to the point super quick, 100% killer, no filler. Uh, so the course nets out at, a, at several hours basically. Um, and it's, so it's not, a, it's not a huge amount of content per day. It, you can take it at, you know, as quick or as slowly as you want. And again, on ISAC training, you have access to the course like ongoing, so you can kind of continually check back to it. Um, you never, let you, me, you, you won't lose reference. access to the course. Let me, let me kind of reference this also. So like when I was putting together this course, it's like really hard because it's not just like Facebook, like I'm going to teach a course on Facebook. Natives encompass many different like platforms, you know, so it was very challenging to try to teach something that involves a lot of different platforms because Outbrain, Taboola, Rev Content, Content Ads, they're all very different. So I felt that the best way for me to do it was to put out my curriculum, which is basically like my understandings um, of the, the overall that you can use for natives, as well as like hard and fast rules that you can apply. But then the point is with the, the classroom setting, I want to know the questions you guys have so that I can answer those. That's like where the real strength kind of comes in for me. I'd rather put my time in there than kind of just spouting off on stuff that may be hard for you to apply if you're using a different traffic source. So um, I do get right to the meat of everything. There's not really a lot of fluff and I really lay it out step by step with rules, um, but it's really something that should open up a discussion both inside of our chat but should it also should open up a discussion inside the classroom because I'm going to answer all the questions one way or another. So it, it, it's the, I'd, I'd rather just give you guys the, the what to think about and then to keep it organized is that the top questions in reference to each chapter is what I will cover kind of more in depth in the class so that it'll be, a, you know, a lot like a actual classroom school environment uh, learning style. Cool. Nice. We have a specific questions. Uh, <laughs> we got someone 10 minutes intro, 15 minutes sales pitch. No, oh, we'd never do anything like that. We got, uh, we had, we got a value stack when you run these webinars. So what about, what about hair? 25 minutes of um, technical problems. Meet. Yeah, there's, <laughs> that's right. 25 minutes of technical problems, guy. Uh, Evo, come on. Don't forget those. Uh, so these questions make more sense in live sessions if there's good media spend done over Nate. Yeah, you're going to, yeah, definitely. Like, like all of our courses, you're going to get better results when you take action. You know, James course is designed to help you take action, uh, pretty quickly, basically. And, and so, yeah, the, you're going to get way more out of those live sessions if you're able to jump into it. And, uh, uh yeah, so that's, that's kind of a no brainer. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Any other questions here? I think that's pretty much uh, it for now. Again, you can reach us, reach out to us at Tim at our sorry team at isactraining.com. Um, we will, uh, yeah, be 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 around to to kind of help you out and and get you on board here. Like, like I say, uh, we've had a couple purchases here, so we've got a couple people who will be joining us in uh, e-commerce mastery live in Barcelona. So we have uh, a one more of those of those passes available. Uh, and we can, we'll just connect with you on intercom about, uh, about getting those, but, uh, cheers guys. We want to thank you so much for coming on today. This webinar will be available on YouTube. You'll also get mailed it, uh, from GoToWebinar as well. If you want to reference it later. Anyway, thanks again. Thanks for coming on James. Later y'all. Later y'all.